Hello, hello, and welcome to part 21 of the series. And in this video, we're going to be grinding to one built bank. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my bank. I can only hold 50 mil at the time, and I need to hold as much money as I can. I'm going to click view upgrades, and I already have a few enchanted golden blocks because I, I know I'm going to get the first two upgrades. So this will take it to 100 mil. And that also gave me 20 skyblock XP, not that bad. Now I can hold 100 million. And now I'm going to get the next one as well, which will make my balance 250 mil. So I've spent around 15 million on this so far, and I just leveled up too, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to put my money in the bank, and I'll just withdraw 1 mil for interest. And now at least I'll have a little bit of extra damage from my G-Drag. I do still need to sell a lot of this stuff. I have some pretty good stuff here, worth a decent amount of money. Okay, so in the last clip, I think I was claiming auctions. That was a couple days ago. I just posted episode 20. We're now on episode 21 and we are trying to get to the bill bank, but obviously you already know that. We're going to head over to the bazaar and as you can see, we have 128 million to claim. This is mainly from the Crimson Essence. So I had 90 mil worth of Crimson Essence from the last fiery video. And then also I claimed my Kuja collection. I got my Kuja pet to Epic and the boss collection is honestly kind of close to Kuja tier 5 so we'll be able to get the legendary kuja pet and then also another 20,000 crimson essence but also while i've had time to play i've just been jumping into burning runs and playing that because you can find burning parties very easily and i don't need to rely on just waiting for people to play so we're gonna go ahead and claim both of these that puts the purse at 130 mil i am instantly gonna buy a booster cookie for convenience so I have 119 million. I'm going to put as much of it as I can in the bank. Now that puts me at 500 mil. I still need another 440 mil. I've got 60 mil on me. But also, we have the problem of upgrading the bank. Now I can put my term in the museum so I can buy the next bank upgrade. But the issue is it also costs 55 million to upgrade the bank. So basically all the money I have left over is just going to the bank upgrade. So I'm going to need roughly another 490 mil on top of the money I already have to then get the bank to a bill. But also then you see my magical power and this, this magical power isn't good. It's 716. I have a hype, a term, and a G-drag. Nearly a billion bank. My magical power should be at least 1k, and that's what we're going to be focusing on after the bill bank. Now, I don't mind so bounding my Terminator. I don't think I would so bound my hype just because it's worth like 1.8 billion or whatever. But the Terminator's only worth like 700 mil. It's not the end of the world. I don't think I would get rid of my hype at all. Not anymore anyway. I know you probably saw this like five videos ago where I was working on mining and just traded it for a mining setup. But that's not going to happen again. With the term, I also need it for Kudra, so I'm not going to get rid of that either. And there's the museum rank and five skyblock XP, so worth it. I did get a level up from that though, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to buy 50 gold blocks and now I'm going to upgrade the bank. So I'll at least be able to hold a billion coins when I can. Hopefully that's going to be pretty soon. And that gave us 35 skyblock XP just for doing that. And so now that we've got the bank upgrade, we can just take the terminator outside. And now we can just use it as if nothing happened. The only difference is it's now so bound, so... I can't trade it with players or auction it. Okay, so I just got power 7. I'm doing the experimental table right now. And I've used all my clicks. I just got power 7. I don't understand my RNG. Lately, my RNG has just been insane. Instacell is 181 mil. Two days ago, I pulled Magic Find Veteran on Crimson. Today, I pulled Mana Pool Mana Regen on Aurora. And now, I just pulled Power 7. I don't even know what to say. I've got a feeling people are going to say I'm RNG carried. And I would agree. 600 mil, just like that. It is a new day. Now, well, it's not really a new day. It's 10 p.m. I just woke up. But that's not the point. I'm going to be focusing on getting the 1 billion. And I might already have it. I've got to sell this whole end chest page full of stuff. And I know it might not seem a lot. 
but some of this stuff is worth a lot. Also, the reason why I'm in the Crimson Isle near the Matriarch guy is because I was doing heavy pearls. If I go to my sacks, I have 252 heavy pearls and 187 kuja teeth. I am going to be using this later. The goal is to get Infernal Terror for DPS reasons as I will be playing a lot of Infernal soon. Recently, I've been playing Burning, I've been playing Fiery, not much Infernal. I've been playing with a group of my friends who haven't hit the 12k rep needed for Infernal Kudra. Regardless, a new video will be coming out pretty soon, and that'll be me playing Infernal. So before I do that video, I do want to be ready for it, actually have the one bill bank. So I'm going to need to start selling off items. But before I start selling off items, I want to do the experimental table because I got super lucky yesterday and I want to get lucky again. So I'm going to activate my guardian pet and start the grind. I do have 150 bits left, as you can see on this side, but that's only enough bits to redo the table once. Unfortunately, nothing from the first table so i'm gonna go ahead and reset this first there we go and now i'm gonna redo the table okay we're doing attempt number two now hopefully it goes a little bit better and nothing good in the table unfortunately so now i'm gonna start auctioning stuff so we have a little bit of money in our purse nothing crazy but in our bank we have 510.5 million in the bazaar we have a few magma urchins from when i was grinding a little bit of barb here and there these urchins have been going for quite a bit of money recently. So I'm going to claim that. Now, I do have the Power 7 book, but it's been up here for around 20 hours. And it's not selling at all. So what I'm going to do is check the difference between the two and see if it's worth waiting. It's only a 6 mil difference, so I think I am going to go ahead and insta-sell. That puts the purse up to 209 million coins. Now I'm in my nether sack and I'm going to go take out some leather cloth and craft a few gauntlets. I think I'll only be able to craft two, but that's all right. So we're going to buy six enchanted mycelium cubes and now craft. Hopefully get something good, but it's all right if this goes for lower spin because lower spin is still 12 mil. First gauntlet isn't too good. And second gauntlet is speed vitality. This does seem pretty good. It might not go for much more than lowest spin, so we'll have to see. And I actually do have enough to make another gauntlet, so I'm going to go ahead and buy three more cubes. Okay, so now this is attempt number three. And that is also bad. We have 26 left over, only 10 away from another gauntlet. Now I might end up grinding Bob a little more if I'm short, but... I should have enough money. I'm not going to be selling everything in the ender chest because I've got stuff like the bottom line, which is all just stuff that's pretty bad. But then I've got items like the Wheel of Fates, the Burning Kudra Cores, and some decent equipment pieces. But then I also have the God Rolls. So I have the Magic Find 2 Veteran 2 Crimson Chest Plate, which is worth at least 200 mil. And I also have the Mana Pool 2 Mana Regen 2 Aurora Chest Plate, which is also worth at least 200 mil. So I have a lot of money sitting in this Ender Chest. So I'm going to list everything, and I'll be back once I start to sell some items. Funny enough, I didn't mention this, but this is actually the Terra God Row. But the problem is it's Terra Helmet. If I got Lifeline Mana Pool on any other piece of armor on Terra, this would have sold for a lot of money. It is just a shame that a helmet is kind of worthless when you have Warden Helmet, but I will see if this has any value. The cheapest one I can find on the auction house is up for 4 mil. I doubt this is going to sell. I probably won't try to sell it, just because I have no confidence in it selling at all. And I've also already made 36 mil, and I'm still auctioning items. This guy looks like he's a gambler, so... Hopefully he got something good. Putting all my money in the bank, it comes to 758 million. I am definitely going to have one bill bank. So I am selling the Crimson Chest Plate for 210 million coins. Now, I don't really know if this is much of a low ball. I am just selling this as like a normal trade. I was going to auction it for 200 mil. And now we're back at the bank and I'm going to deposit all my money. This brings the bank to 965 million coins. Now, I'm only 35 million away from one bill bank, but if I just check my own auction house, I still have the God Road chest plate up here, and I have a bunch more loot ready to sell. And I still have the gauntlets because the auction house is full, 
I haven't been able to auction these yet. We have quite a bit of money to play with. Now this is really good because it means we can upgrade our terror. And also we can't forget about the essence I have. And it's worth 23 million. But I'm not going to sell this because I am going to need to use essence on upgrading the armor anyway. So a little bit of time has passed. Maybe around 30 minutes. But in the auction house we have 60 million to claim. And we still have a gauntlet to auction. So that's even more money. So we just claimed that and now we're going to put it in the bank. And that gets the bank to a billion. I have 30 mil left over. But the next goal is to get enough money for 50 inferno keys. And that's going to cost us quite a bit of money. I just woke up and I'm going to check the auction house and see how much stuff we've sold. We have 224 million to claim. Most of that value is coming from the Aurora chest plate, and that puts the purse at 251 mil. We do have enough money to do what I want to do today. I am going to need 14 more Never Stars though, so I'll have to Vanquisher grind for a little bit. I finished Vanquisher grinding, and I have the 100 Never Stars needed to buy the 50 Infernal Keys. So that's what we're going to do. I already have a buy order in for Mycelium and it's already filled. It filled near enough instantly. So I'm going to go ahead and claim this and then start buying keys. So it's nearly 50 million in Enchanted Mycelium and then also each key costs 2.4 mil. So I'm going to have to spend 120 mil on the keys itself and then 50 mil on the Mycelium. So I'm going to go ahead and start claiming this. I'm going to need to get some more room because my inventory is pretty full. I'll be back once I bought all the keys and just for reference i have 204 mil in the purse so i should go down to around 84 mil i've bought all the keys and i've had to put it in my ender chest because this is a lot of keys i'm down to 84 mil so i'm probably going to use the rest of the money to buy terror i'm not going for god roll i'm just going for better terror than the terror i have right now because this terror is pretty bad but now that i've bought the keys I am going to have to say this is the end of the video. In the next video, I am going to be testing how much Inferno Kudra actually makes. So look forward to that. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. See you in the next one.